Welcome to The Joint. Today we're going to do some 3D modeling and 3D printing for some practical purposes. So, stay tuned. Okay, now I need coffee. Sorry, people. I gotta get pipe and I gotta get some coffee. All right, guys, welcome back to Justin's Joint, where today I am enjoying just a bit of Presbyterian mixture in my trusty old cob. Honestly, I just found this pipe after about probably three months. It was in my pickup. I had gone on a road trip to see my dad, and I took this in the truck with me to have a little, you know, have a little bowl or two on the way. Don't mind the coffee maker in the background making noise, by the way. And I left it in the center console of my pickup, and I was cleaning my pickup out, and I found it. So I figured I'm going to smoke it today. Anyway, let's get to the <clears throat> meat and potatoes of this video. We're not talking about pipe tobacco. We're not talking about anything that YouTube doesn't like. Although maybe they don't like this, I don't know. We're talking about 3D printing, and we're talking about practical 3D printing. Now, I'm not using it right now, but normally when I record these videos, I use a pop filter. And what a pop filter is, is like, it's this, this thing. So you, this goes in front of the microphone, and then when you say like, peas, or pops, or puh, anything that starts with P, if you are talking into the microphone, it, it gets a little, you know, it, it like, I don't know how to, it, it clips the microphone. So I've been using these, but I, I really hate these because you mount it to your mic stand, but then the whole thing, the whole thing twists, right? It threads in right here. It's not gonna focus, but that's okay. And then it falls over. It doesn't stay in place very good. And I thought to myself, hmm, wouldn't it be nice if there was an alternative? Well, there is an alternative. And that alternative is to refinagle one of these to have a GoPro mount instead of this. Because the way that I have this set up is I've got a GoPro mount like basically right in front of my microphone, which is what I am mounting the camera to sometimes. But if I had a GoPro mount here, I could just mount it to the GoPro mount and never have to do this stupid thing again. So that's what I'm gonna do today. I have another one of these pop filters, which I took apart. Let me relight my pipe. I took it apart. It's got two little screws here. And then it just has this end that goes in here and locks in. Now this is among the most easy things that I can think of to 3D print. It's just basically a cylinder with a notch cut out. And then on the other end, we'll need a GoPro type of a mount. But I already have something like that. so. Uh, I can just kind of like mash the two things together and then print it and then we can just go with it So that's what we're gonna do is just go with it So I think what we need to do now is take some measurements of this guy Let me find my calipers <clears throat> Anyway, no, don't treat your calipers like that. That's a bad thing to do Okay, so I have handy dandy notebook of which I'm going to write down my measurements so this piece is 23 long the notch is three millimeters Aha! This ledge on the top here is about 
Okay. Now we need some diameters. 6.9 is this diameter in here. The outside diameter. <laughs> Alright. There is my sketch. You can see it's very sketchy. <laughs> Get it? Sketchy? It's a sketch? So, what we're going to do is I'm going to move over to a CAD program and model this and then I'm going to graft it to what I already have for a GoPro mount and then we will kind of go from there. So, <clears throat> I'm not going to... I'm not gonna show you all the modeling mumbo jumbo because it's kind of boring. But I mean, I'll, I'll I'll take you along for just enough, just just so you can see that I'm actually doing it. And you know, anyway, here here we go. Let's let's go. Let's do this. So here we are. Let me scoot this guy back so you can see me. So we are in my CAD program, and what I've got is a is a, a mount for my camera which has a GoPro style mount on it and that's what we're going to use as a start point to graft this so I've kind of brought this in I made a copy of it here right now I don't need this anymore so let's just go ahead and detach that all we really want is this part I don't need this part. This is where my camera slips in. I, I don't need that. So I'm just going to cut that off. So, we're going to just draw a line and we're going to cut it right off. Alright. So there we've got the GoPro mount. Now we need to adapt something to that to the effect of this. So what we're gonna do is just go ahead and look at this from this view. We're gonna draw our 10 millimeter circle and we're going to draw a 6.9 millimeter circle. All right and then it was three point it was 23 overall 3.3 3 and 3 so we're just gonna go 23. 3.3 there we go so now basically I just need to kind of refinagle this a little bit so I'm gonna copy this we're gonna stretch this side down oh we're gonna stretch this side down to here and we're gonna stretch this side up to here and that's our mount that will go into the pop filter. So now we just gotta get it all lined up. Okay, so we're looking all right. Now, if we change this, <clears throat> you'll see we kinda have something like this going, which, I don't know, that probably wouldn't be terrible. But it seems a, just a little fiddly here. So I think I might make this a little longer. Actually, let's see. How, how far? About seven millimeters. So the, the, the pop filter comes all the way down except for the last seven millimeters. So I've got seven millimeters. So I'm gonna just say five to be safe. Where we can uh, just kind of do something to kind of give this a little bit more structural something. I don't know. Anyway, let's, let's figure this out. I need to get a quick tamp on. Hang on, stand by. All right, much better.
All right. I think that might look all right. You know what, just to be safe, I'm gonna stretch it just a little higher. Because I gave five here, I have seven, but I just wanna make sure. So I'm gonna go about two, two millimeters this way. There we go. All right, so there is our part. This is our adapter to go from GoPro mount to pop filter. So let's go ahead and get this exported and then put it on the printer and let's see what happens. Let's do this. After these messages, we'll be right back. All right, everybody, we're back. Here's the piece that we printed. See how I can get it to focus on it. You can see that it's got a uh, GoPro mount and then we've got the little thingy on the top that looks just like this this thingy here i mean uh, yeah anyway whatever so what we're gonna do right now is we are going to take this apart we're gonna put this in there and then we're gonna see if it works so eh, let's see it took about 40 minutes to print this and actually <laughs> While it was printing, I had to get on a, on a conference call, which sucked. It was a stupid conference call, but whatever. Trying to take time off. Work keeps getting in the way. How dare they? Anyway, enough about that. Let's put this together and see how it works. All right, everybody. We are back, and you are on the head cam. And we are going to just... Take this piece here and we're gonna put it onto this thing here and then we're gonna mount it up to my microphone stand right there. So let's just pull this open. Just real quick like. The nuts fell out. That's what she said. <laughs> That's what she said. <laughs> and we're going to put this guy in there and we're going to put this guy back together like this. And we've got this guy here. We're going to put these nuts back in here. We're gonna try and do this without letting these nuts fall out. Okay, and voila, we've got a pop filter that's adapted for a GoPro. And now, as you can see, let me turn this just a smidgen up. We have a GoPro mount, which is where I sometimes mount a camera, which is right in front of the microphone, which is actually a good, a good way to do it. That way I'm always looking, but we're gonna just take this just like that. It's gonna be a little bit tight at first. And then look at this. So we have a microphone stand, which has been adapted to use a GoPro mount for the pop filter. This is what I love about 3D printing. You can do basically anything you want and you can make whatever you want and um, honestly, I really think that that's pretty spectacular. <laughs> that right there saves me so much hassle and effort because the thing would always fall over. Well, here we are at the end of the process and I have an actual pop filter that mounts in a decent fashion, which is actually kind of nice, even though the microphone right now is a long ways from my face, but I do other stuff for work where I pr record some voiceover type stuff, for training videos and whatnot. And it certainly helps to have a pop filter when you have 
you know, stuff that you're doing like that because you're you tend to be a lot closer to the microphone. So anyway, that is the deal. I wound up making two because I've got two pop filters. The other one's over there, but you know, whatever. You've already seen it. It's it's all good. So that's it for the video. That's the that's the Justin's join of the day. So until next time, right here in the joint. I will see you guys later. I reject your reality and substitute my own.